كذلك مما يدل على عظم هذا الكتاب وصدق ما فيه وتأثيره على الأمة ما أثمر من ثمرات على الناس في دنياهم أمثلة ذلك ما يتعلق بأمور حياتهم التجارية والمالية فإن الأمة لما تمسكت بهذا الكتاب وسارت عليه أعقبهم الله العاقبة الحميدة في دنياهم ومن هنا قال تعالى ومن يتق الله يجعل له مخرجا ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتسب وقال تعالى قل من حرم زينة الله التي أخرج لعباده والطيبات من الرزق قل هي للذين آمنوا في الحياة الدنيا خالصة يوم القيامة Uh, the Sheikh Hafizullah said, from the things that is indicative to the tremendousness of this book is how it has come to have a heavy influence. It was revealed and come to have a tremendous influence on the wealth and commerce of man. And whereas they will enable them to dispose of their commerce and their business and their transactions in a manner that is make them fear Allah and avoid that which is prohibited. And from that is the statement of Allah in reminding the believer when he says that, and whoever fears Allah, he will make a way out for them and will provide for them from places um, from places they did not expect. From amongst that is the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, who, will, who makes the adornments of Allah prohibited to the end of that ayah? reminding the people to the abundancy of the beauties of the dunya that Allah made permissible for us and who will make that haram as an encouragement to seek those things. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his book, his tremendous book, it is indicative to how Allah rectified mankind in a business transaction and has given legislation that and punishments in relation to that to deter man away from those things that will earn the wrath of Allah in their commerce. So the Quran and its tremendousness provide these tremendous benefits. Naam, tafaddu mashkuran. وهذا القرآن أيضا جعل الناس يترحمون فيما بينهم فيرحم الكبير الصغير بل إن الرحمة تصل إلى الحيوان والجماد وتكون الرحمة حتى للعدو والمخالف ومن هنا جاءت الآيات والأحاديث بالترغيب في الرحمة ارحموا من في الأرض يرحمكم من في السماء نعم the Sheikh حفيظه الله he says from amongst the things that the Quran in its amazing methods that it does is Allah has made it with the Quran it, it has that which is in it that term makes mankind become extremely merciful to one another and kind and gentle to one another. Like to the point it focus on the young, being gentle and kind and respectful to the young and to the old, even to show mercy and kindness to the one who's your enemy, to the one who's in opposition to you, how to deal with that with mercy and kindness and return their evil with that which will produce what is better. Like a lot, which finds, which is defined where Allah's Prophet ﷺ has said, be merciful to those who is in the earth and the ones who is above the heavens will be merciful to you. Naam, tafaddu mashkuran. Kama kana min al-qiyam al-azimah al-lati amara biha al-deen al-hanif al-ihsan ila al-akhareen hatta ila man asa'i ilayk kama qala ta'ala idfa' billati hiya ahsan وكما قال تعالى إن الله مع الذين اتقوا والذين هم محسنون وكما قال تعالى وهل جزاء الإحسان إلا الإحسان نعم the Sheikh Hafizullah went on to say from the tremendous uprightness of this religion and of the Quran is how it has established the character of being excellent and doing excellence and goodness to others. To the point, even those who
who do harm and evil to one to you, to us. From those verses that is indicative to this fact is the statement of Allah, Itva billati hi ahsin, repel that, that which is done to you in evilness with that which is better than it. Itva billati hi ahsin. He says, and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, verbally, be with those. Uh, uh, indeed, Allah is with those who fear Allah and those who do their deeds excellently. Or the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he says, Hal jaza'ul ihsan, is there a reward for doing excellence and greatness to others other than excellence and reward? Is there a reward greater than excellence except excellence? So all of these is encouragements from Allah to be excellent and kind and gentle towards others, even if they're not towards us, that the Quran established.